Bonada, Crossway Cymru. More specifically, welcome to Penllyn, top end of Llynbran. What I'm hoping to do is have a look at um, some couple of parking places with you for a walk I want to do over the Christmas period. Right, let's go. <laughs> Bonne da. Well, is it pronounced down now? It's around lunchtime. Jochen Bell. So this is 4th Farquhar. It's not really an ideal road to be uh, riding up in these days because you'll get a lot of delivery drivers flying around. And a lot of people don't expect to see you coming. However, I don't care. I'm going to go up this way because the views are stunning when you get towards the top. What is that? To my right is the car park for those people wanting to do a bit of a walk around this end of the lake. There's only enough for a few cars there. You're better to park in the laybys along the main 4086 or to park um, round by the bridge. Um, the opposite end to the bridge where I just stood at the beginning of this video. Uh, there is parking for quite a few vehicles. And we're gaining altitude, probably about a thousand feet we'll be going up here in total today. I'm hoping to get some decent views of some snow, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Unless, of course, it snows while I'm out. That'll be a laugh. There's some lovely little cottages up here. Because of their um, view, or theoretical view in the case of some of them, the values are significantly higher than the other side of the lake. Oh. These cottages now have a stunning view across Plimpadarn, across towards uh, Snowdon. That's Snowdon again, we still can't see the summit, so we've got a little way to go before I get to a lovely parking place. Okay, so here we are. That's the uh, lovely village of Clamberis. The uh, massive building over there, that's Siemens. DMM, the high quality climbing kit. Uh, manufacturers are down there, Clean Runway. Uh, Snowdonia Water Sports is there. Pete Seats is over that way. Loads of people up the high street offering food services. Uh, there's climbing companies, there's walking guides, training people for um, navigation skills, all sorts. That's Eladir uh, Fach, uh, Jose Mousy over the side and higher. That's uh, Crib Goch over there. Uh, that's uh, Mount Snowden. You can actually see, if you look carefully, there's a big strong white arcing line and that's the main path um, for the footpath up the Flamboris path up to the top of Snowdon and below that there's sort of a darker line going across and that's the line of the uh, railway that's not running at this time of year the lake railway is which runs down there okay right let's carry on this is almost like a tourist information film Oh, I'll change that. Uh, I've got a little story to tell you. I'm just coming up here. The building at the top, looks like a schoolhouse, is actually lodged to Norwig. It's a nice quality bunkhouse. Also a cafe. Serves some really nice 
uh, interesting food, proper Welsh breakfast. Heartily recommend it if anyone wants to uh, grab something to eat. And the views from up here are uh, absolutely amazing. During the summer, if it's a nice warm day, you can have um, your meal out on the car park. There's uh, some benches outside, which makes it really good. Uh, if you hear any banging, it's because I'm trying a, a cable system on my phone, on my, um, not phone, on my camera. So apologies if you hear that. Yes, if you hear a rattling, it's my uh, phone cable. I'm trying to use an anchor power bat bank to give me longer camera life. Okay, so we're now going to head up and over towards Millerslander Guy and then into Bethesda. So, a little story for you. A few years ago, my wife decided to do what is for her universally a futile thing. No, she wasn't going to try and get me to do the washing up. She was going to enter a competition. Now, to ensure that the guilty parties with this are not closed I'm not going to mention too many names it's closed again oh well um, yeah sorry um, so anyway she never wins anything it's a complete and utter waste of time and effort there was uh, a competition on a radio station to win a couple of tickets for a concert being held by a particular artist who was on tour at that time she knew that both me and her would be really into going to see this particular person despite knowing that this was a ridiculous thing to do she entered the competition now the tour was actually ongoing at the time so there were all different dates for different tickets that might be one there were some in london there were some in manchester liverpool whatever so anyhow she entered the competition on, let's just say it was a Wednesday or a Thursday. And we both laughed about what a silly thing this was. And it wasn't going to happen. The following Wednesday afternoon, she's at work. She gets a phone call. Hello, this is such and such radio station. Congratulations. You have won your two tickets to go and see so, 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 and so. How do you think I feel about that? Oh, wonderful, marvellous. I've never won anything. You know, she comes across with all this. Can't believe her luck. Won two tickets. Absolutely fabulous. And rings me. You're not going to believe this. I've won two tickets. Oh, that's it fantastic. And I'm thinking this is going to go wrong somewhere along the line. They ring her back after the bit that was on the radio. That was marvellous. And she goes, just one question. Or a couple of questions, really. Um... First question is, um, which concert, where is it, and when is it? It's on Saturday. This is Wednesday. It's on Saturday. Fine, okay. We're both off work, that's fine. We're on, I'm on rest days, she's on uh, her rest days, that's fine. Marvellous done well with that where is it next question and it was turns out it was one of the venues in the southeast of england okay so we've now got to organize getting the tickets sorting out travel sorting out all sorts of bits and pieces uh someone to look after the dogs because otherwise they'll eat the house um so anyway then begins the onslaught so we ordered, uh, got a hotel room booked for just down the road from the location. Yep, that was easy enough. It was expensive, I won't lie. It wasn't cheap, even though it was only a, like a travel lodge. It cost us a few quid. That wasn't included in the, uh, in the tickets, uh, the prize tickets. All that was included was the trip, it, uh, the actual concert itself. First of all, it's cost me something like about 150 quid for the hotel. Uh, travel, because it was going into, uh, say, down near London somewhere, 
I didn't really fancy driving, so I paid for uh, rail tickets. Now, just recently, my son was telling me how I, there were special deals going for um, flights from Manchester to Stockholm for six quid there and about 15 quid back. So as you can imagine, I didn't have to spend too much money on the rail ticket. Yep, 400 quid return for the two of us. 400 pounds. Wasn't impressed. So my wife's free ticket so far for this competition that she's won has cost me 550 quid. While we're at it, you just know that I'm going to be rugged into buying food, this, that and the other, all sorts of other bits. I can just see this free competition that she's just won. It's costing me, you know, nearly getting on for a thousand pound by the time I finished. I am not impressed. But anyway, she's so delighted at having won this marvellous competition. And, you know, she's never won a competition before. So I've really wanted to, you know, make the best of it. So I'll gladly stump up all this cash. And before you ask, no, these tickets for the rail were not first class. The hotel was not an expensive one. It was something like a travel lodge or a premier inn. It was no more than that. I am not happy, but going on with it. And I thought it would make a nice breakaway. I get a lift down to the station, stumped up the fuel for the person that gave me the lift. So that's cost me more money. Uh, train arrives. Oh, this is exciting going train. It'd be marvellous. Oh, by the way, look at that view. That's lovely, isn't it? I think to myself, this will be good, be exciting. Well, tickets are booked, uh, seats reserved, marvellous. Train arrives dead on time, oh, lovely. Because of the time of our travel, we had to um, have a, tra a train change. Um, so we get to Chester, we have to get off. As we get off, we're all greeted by a very helpful man from whichever train company it is that, that's there. I don't know whether it's Network Rail, Virgin Trains at the time, or Hornby Railways. I don't know who it was. Dr. Beeching says to us very helpfully, um, we've got a bit of a problem. The train you need to catch and change to, the driver's just been taken ill. You need to go to platform whatever and get on this the next train and then you need to go to crew and change again i didn't have a problem with that you know these things happen so we lug the tra uh, luggage down to um wherever we have to go as you do and of course what happens we wait for the train by the time it arrives it's packed so this lovely romantic two nights away freebies free concert tickets oh well it's not looking good is it but never mind it's all good really everything's fine it's just a bit hot and sweaty so anyway we stand out there we get on the train get to crew go to do the change as you do we were directed to go to platform whatever now if you've ever been to crew railway station in the uk it's fairly large it's not as big as clapham Co common i don't think but it is a fairly fairly large station so we had to get from platform whatever to platform whatever you know um, upstairs, run across, bridge, cross several lines and then back down again to catch a train. We leg it over to the platform. What happens? The train leaves as we're running down the stairs. That was our train. Oh well, next train is coming in 15 minutes. Take that instead. Okay, not a problem. That train stopped everywhere. If there was a halt, if there was a request stop, it stopped at it. It was a bloody nightmare. Honestly, it was awful. So we eventually get where we need to go. Everyone's happy. We settle in for the night. It's taken us an age, but hey ho, we're there. Next morning, it's about 11 o'clock. We decide to go around the local shopping centre. We've had breakfast in a coffee. Well, I think it was Cafe Nero, out of interest. Uh, we've had coffee and a croissant for breakfast. And we're just having a wander around as you do looking at all the local shopping centres well get a phone call oh glad we've got hold of you it's such and such from such and such radio station yeah we've got a problem there's been a an emergency at the venue they've had to close the venue for the next two weeks your concert's not going ahead honestly we've got tickets all there they've been mailed to us by express mail um couriered to us 
Um, we'd gone down by train, we had to suffer all this thing, it's cost us 400 quid, 150 quid by the time we paid for the hotel room, then I've had to pay for all this food. And we've just had this phone call. Sure enough, the venue had had a partial collapse of the ceiling, I think it was. It was whatever it was, it was a genuine and it was a serious problem. My dearly beloved has had her first ever competition win at the grand old age of whatever, only to find it, it set us back hundreds and hundreds of pounds and she never got to see the concert. Interestingly, there was a good outcome to it, or partially good outcome, in that we had um, booked with the rail company and they were fairly helpful in that if you were two hours delayed on your outward journey, they would refund you your rail ticket for both the outward and the return leg. We were surprisingly two hours and 18 minutes delayed. And without quibble, uh, they actually refunded me my railway trip. So it was only a, a few hundred quid out of pocket instead of uh, this part of a thousand. But yes, so next time my wife offers, oh, shall I enter this competition? My uh, reply will always be, oh, no, thank you. Okay, so that's the end of my stupid story. And I just thought what we'd do is we would just take a quick trip and show you Zip World. I don't know that it's even open today. I don't, oh yes, it looks busy.